So the last thing I want to tell you about 802.11n is for backward compatibility it uses a 20 megahertz channel just like 802.11a and g. However, for 802.11n it also defines the option to bond two 20 megahertz channels together, give me 40 megahertz. Now, why do I want to do that? Well, 40 megahertz, twice the bandwidth, means that I can get to twice the data rate. In fact, it's a little bit better than twice the data rate. And the way to think about that is to think about it like a water pipe. If I have a pipe and it's got water flowing and I want to get more water through it, I need to go through a bigger pipe. And so it is with spectrum. If I double my bandwidth from 20 to 40 megahertz, I can double my data rate. Another important aspect of understanding about 802.11n, when I go to a 40 MHz channel, that's almost impossible to deploy a 40 MHz channel in the 2.4 GHz band because I only have, in North America, 79 MHz of spectrum. So I could only deploy one 40 MHz channel and I can't do any cell planning. So any environment where you've got multiple wireless LANs operating in the 2.4 gigahertz band, I have to use the 20 net megahertz channel, cannot use the 40 megahertz channel. And this is one of the reasons why Cisco is encouraging people to use and move to the 5 gigahertz band. Because remember in the 5 gigahertz band here in North America, I have 455 megahertz the spectrum, which means I can deploy lots of 40 megahertz channels. So much easier to do my cell planning when I've got access points being deployed next to each other.